You could even argue that sidekicks are um, better than the actual kick. <laughs> are you making a co-host reference? Maybe. Hello, I am Robert. Hello, I am Robert Toth. And today we are reviewing Psycho Gorman, directed by Stephen Kostansky in 2020. Little girl, big psycho. It's basically a family picture. Of our family. Kind of. A little similar. Because the girl is really the psycho in this film. But it's about a little girl and her slightly older brother who discover while digging a pit in their backyard uh, sort of an alien, maybe pseudo-magical gem, which they later find out controls an evil alien warlord. Psycho Gorman. PG for short. I didn't know who any of these people are. Neither they, Josie Hanna. Well, she's the little girl, and she's like 10 when this is filmed. And she's, she makes the film. She is a great little actress. Everybody in this film has like less than 15 credits to their name on IMDb. And, uh, but they still rock it. They, they, it's, a, it's a good movie. It's a low-budget film. And uh, it's, it's still enjoyable. It's like one and a half mil. It's the budget. It's pretty low. To date. Compared to us. To date. Well, you're definitely low budget, sis. To date, the box office take is under 100000 So they've lost money. However. So go stream it now. Well, they're streaming it now. I think Amazon, or actually Shudder, which is available through Amazon and other places, have purchased it. And I don't. I don't know the details but I'm gonna guess they made back their budget with that purchase. Matthew Ninabar plays Psycho Gorman PG. Body. He's the body. They have another guy whose name I don't remember. He plays the voice but it's not really his voice. It's heavily synthesized anyway. Uh, so there's two actors that portrayed PG in this. and But the body actor he had it's a lot of makeup to get into that suit and then uh, so you know I hear this story a lot on heavy makeup horror films in particular when the guy when the star is not in the makeup when he arrives if he arrives with the other cast nobody recognizes the guy because eight eighty percent of the time they're spending with them he's in costume and heavily made up and nobody recognizes the friggin star of the movie when he's not in makeup that's some Voldemort level makeup. It's kind of a spoof of E.T., the extraterrestrial Spielberg, because he comes down and he's like a he's like an alien botanist. He's picking flowers and stuff. Not this alien. This alien literally wants to kill everything and everyone. And don't judge him for that. I, there is no judgment, but the fact that the the little girl found whatever it is, it's his power gem or whatever, it gives her control over the alien. And oh my goodness, hilarity ensues, you know. There's, he was imprisoned, buried on Earth for a good reason, this, this psycho gourmet. It's because he's so violent. So there's other, when they, you know, they sense that he gets released. So if he was that bad, why did they bury him with the control stone right there? I mean, I agree that's not solid uh, logic. Like, I would have separated it, maybe. Maybe buried the stone on Pluto or something. I don't know. He had a group of sidekicks when he was warlord. I love do, sidekicks. Do you remember what they were? their order was called? I think it was the, the Order of the Obsidian or something like that. You could even argue that sidekicks are... Um, better than the actual kick. <laughs> Are you making a co-host reference? Maybe. Anyway, these the 
the the sidekicks they all um, they are heavily reminiscent of uh, Power Rangers monsters. They're just they're just people in suits like big rubber suits. They're kind of cheesy. My favorite one I don't know what his name was, but he 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 fights people by throwing. He's like he's he's like a mass of earth and fences and and gravestones like he came out of a cemetery and he he pulls gravestones out of his body and whips them at people that's how he fights that was he was my favorite at least i don't know this is a gory movie but it's it's is humorous gore but you expect it when gorman is in the title you kind of you? do you kind of do it's not particularly realistic but there is a lot of blood and goriness, so just be prepared for that. But oh, I, it's completely unrealistic. I mean, I think it's kind of funny, you know. Kind of like the movie Hatchet. Is it? It's like that kind of gore, where it's like almost ridiculous, but in a good way. If you say so, I haven't seen that one yet. Lines from the movie. I do not care for hunky boys, or do I? Hello, boy. I love that we picked that as the line. By the way, I think that's a a, a throwback to the original Phantasm movie. I think the creators of this movie liked that movie. So that's a movie from the 70s. They threw that in there. The horrors you have seen cannot be unwitnessed. They will consume your young minds until you die a horrible death. Cool. And now, we will reenact a typical scene from the movie. Hey, psycho gore man. Put her there. Ah! Before we do a uh, pumpkin rating for this film, I just want to say I think that my hair this way looks like a young, hot George Washington. Oh, yeah, definitely. So how many pumpkins do you want to give this film? Um... I think we gotta go more, right? I'm happy with the three pumpkin rating. It's could you want to maybe throw a half on there too? Well, I, too much. Uh, it might be too much. I mean, it's a good. You have a wardrobe malfunction. Don't worry, don't worry about it, Robert. The, the, this is a, 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 it's a low. It's a good low budget. It's funny. It's a horror comedy. Got its tongue in cheek. It's not a real horror movie. It's not like purposefully like, oh my god, I'm so scared. Uh, it's funny. It's funny. It's gross. It's Power Rangers. It's a lot of Power Rangers throw in. And they, they besides some of the things I mentioned, they do some other homage sort of things to some classic horror films. So if you're a horror fan, you should watch it. Solid. Stream it. Stream it. Love it.